Hi, I'm Melissa Shannon and today I'm going to show you how to add a copyright watermark to your images in Photoshop Elements. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the File menu and then scroll down to Process Multiple Files. This is Photoshop Elements Batch Editor. So what I'm going to do today is choose a folder of images And then I'm going to make sure I don't allow my files to be overwritten by creating a new folder in there for the watermarked images. So if I'm going to use them for my blog, I'm just going to add underscore blog to my image name. I'm also going to resize my images so they won't be too large for my blog by making the width no more than 600 pixels and converting them to JPEG medium quality. You can apply some auto levels and sharpening to your file if you like. I'm going to add the copyright symbol which is ALT 0169 on your keypad and I'm going to put my name in as the copyright details. I'm going to have it on the bottom right and use a simple font. Set it to black maybe white will stand out more from the photos. Then I just click OK and my images are going to be processed. And you can see it going through and adding a text layer here to your background. And now it's flattening all the images. Now it's writing the JPEGs. Now that Photoshop Elements has finished processing Let's have a look at the resulting images. You can see, you just flick through and um, you can see the font watermark in the bottom corner of each photo. There are many ways you can use the process multiple files function in Photoshop Elements. Do you have more Photoshop Elements questions? Leave me a comment below and let me know which tutorial you'd like to see next. For more information on how to use Photoshop Elements in your scrapbooking, visit my site at mshanhun.com.